okay? <laughs> so, Henry Fambro. This Fambro. is Yeah. How old are I you? I started to wear red. Me too. You got it. <laughs> What we're, we're so pleased to be here with you today. Thank and, you, um, thank I you. I wanted to say to you that it has been a number of years. Let's go back. Okay, go uh, back. how far do you want to go back? Well, let's well, go let's back where Unsung didn't go because they did okay. a great job. Great, great, school great. And all okay, that. good. Let's go back when you were a bad little fellow on the street. Your Oops. mama had to beat you to you know, and all that. No. Oops. <laughs> I remember um, seeing you guys at the Uptown Theater. Right, mm-hmm. The late Georgie Woods, which right. was uh, before uh, Motown uh, days. Yes, mm -hmm. that and um, yeah. so when we go all the way back, fam, um, what do you remember the most in the early days? You know, you were traveling with groups that had hits. Right. They were popular yeah. and all of that. And you guys opened up, mm -hmm. but you took the show. Let's well, talk about back. But you know, one thing I remember about the, um, the Uptown days, they had a lot of groups and a lot of artists on the show. And but each artist probably had that one hit, mm -hmm. and uh, they wouldn't do no more than maybe three songs. Mm -hmm. They had about five or six acts on the stage mm -hmm. on the stage that went, you know, for the evening. Mm -hmm. And I remember that the guys and girls that was back then, mm -hmm. they was so happy just to be on stage mm -hmm. and be out there and see the people and mm -hmm. and enjoying what you're doing and, and and just taking everything in. That would be before you learn about the business part of the in, right. uh, about the about the entertainment, you know. Right. Yes. But that that was, that was good. Was just just just, just uh, raw talent mm -hmm. on stage, enjoying yourself and doing what you love. That's right. That's, that's the basic part of entertainment when you first start out. Right. And 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 I'm going to call you Henry. Mm -hmm. So the people who is famous. Yeah, that's my name, Henry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we um, talking about those early days mm -hmm. and even the Nixon Theater, remember? Ooh. Yes. The Nixon Theater yeah, I remember the Nixon. and um, over there on 52nd Street. Right. But you guys were able to do something that the average groups couldn't do. Mm -hmm. You didn't have a big hit record yet, but you took the show. Well, doing. Yeah. Billy doing his yeah. part. And you. Who were you, Donna Ross? I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. That was, that was after Motown, though. Yeah, I'm going to tell all the secrets. <laughs> that was after Motown. Did you know? But in the meanwhile, fam, so that was fun for you. And uh, what were you were you thinking that it was going to come a time that you would just be a worldwide group? Well, you know, everybody, everyone have dreams, mm -hmm. you know. And at some point, like when I when we first had our very hit first record, that's what girls are made for, mm -hmm. on Tri Fire Records with uh, Harvey Fuqua being our producer okay. and our manager at the time, and he the one that uh, put our harmony together, mm -hmm. put our harmony together, and this what you hear today is what you heard and Harvey put it together, mm -hmm. and. Back then, like you mentioned, the Nixon. Yes, yes. When we was performing at the Nixon, we was spinners at the time, but we didn't have a hit record. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. but we we did, did had many yoko hits before then, you know. Right, I remember that too. But Harvey had taught us how to entertain without a hit record. And that's what you're talking about now, because I remember the spinners used to do a half hour of shows with nothing but jazz. Mm -hmm. Jazz and singing and Hit dancing. the road, Jack, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, that's that's what got helped us mm -hmm. going through the years, lean years, what I say. Right. And when we didn't have a hit record, and we, but we were performing mm -hmm. and doing a lot of things that other groups wasn't doing. That's, that's what made us different. Right. You know. Right. Because we used to open up the show with a song called "Fascinating Rhythm." Absolutely. Okay. We, I mean, we did "Fascinating the Rhythm" steps down. And everything. Right. Classic. And when you get down to the 15 bar with nothing but dancing, you know. Right. I couldn't yeah. do that now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it then when you had to. Henry Fanborough, the last surviving original member of the iconic R&B group, The Spinners, whose, it's, whose hits included It's a Shame, Could It Be I'm Falling in Love, The Rubber Band Man Died on Wednesday, a spokesperson for the group said. Very devastating. The legend was just 85 years old. Henry died peacefully of natural causes in his Northern Virginia home, spokesperson Tanisha Jackson said in a statement. By the way, the group was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in November, along with Henry, Billy Henderson, Pavis Jackson, Bobby Smith, Philippa Wine, and John Edwards were listed as inductees. 
Last May, Henry took a tour of Motown Studio A in Detroit as a part of a ceremony that included the donation to the Motown Museum of 375 outfits worn by the group during performances. It was a long time ago, Fumbaro said at the time of the 1960s when he first walked into the studio. I used to dream about this place. He told reporters that he had to convince his wife that the studio was where he was going for three AM rehearsals and recording sessions with other members of the group. The first big hit for Motown was It's a Shame, which peaked at number 14 on the Billboard's Hot 100 chart in 1970. Such a very huge song. The spinners would later sign with Atlantic Records and turn out a string of hits that included Then Came You, which, feature, which featured singer Dion Warwick and reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1974. Their songs received six Grammy Award nominations and had, and 18 platinum and gold albums. Originally called the Domingos, the group was formed in 1954, just north of Detroit. The Spinners joined Motown Records 10 years later. Henry's survivors include his wife of 52 years, Norma, and daughter Heather Williams. Rest in power, King.